What do we know about the latest leak of US secrets? US National Security Agencies and the Justice Department are scrambling to determine the source, scale and sensitivity of what appears to be the most serious spillage of US intelligence in years. The documents appear to contain information on everything from the war in Ukraine to North Korea's weapons program and France's relations with Africa. Safe to say this is one of the most damaging intelligence leaks this century so far. Let's take a closer look at some of the key revelations. The most sensitive content is what appears to be operational information about the war in Ukraine, including details about the country's air defense vulnerabilities. There are also predictions about how China would respond to Ukrainian strikes inside Russia, as well as details of a purported internal discussion among South Korean officials about pressure from the US on Seoul to help supply weapons to Ukraine. Aside from the Ukraine war, there's information about Iran's nuclear capabilities and North Korea's missile tests. France's security goals in West and Central Africa also come under scrutiny, with an assessment that they will not be met. About 20 pages are serial intelligence reports produced by different agencies. A serial report is a one-paragraph um, a concise reporting on a specific issue in a specific country. The other 20 some pages are um, maps and war updates from uh, from Ukraine. Are the documents real and how were they leaked? Pictures of creased documents were posted on platforms across the internet including Discord, 4chan, Telegram and Twitter. US officials believe most of the material is genuine. Some documents, however, appear to have been altered to show inflated U.S. estimates for Ukrainian battlefield casualties, as well as understated numbers for Russian forces. It appears that whoever had access to the files had them in print form, because otherwise why would you take pictures of them and then distribute the pictures? Um, and so that means we could simply be looking at, uh, we have to include very mundane explanations, like somebody could have literally lost a bag of classified documents or somebody could have had access to that suitcase in some car, or, you know, whatever it was. Um, so there, there could be some very unusual expect, um, explanations for what is, after all, a very unusual, um, um, you know, leak or spillage of information here. The open source investigation site, Bellingcat, so it had found evidence that the documents, or at least some of them, had appeared on social media as far back as March or even January.